Mark 6. And I'll start, I'll read verse 7. And then I'll go and read verse 12. Scripture reads, And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits. And verse 12, And they went out and preached that man should repent. Now, 
Pokea mimi mwenyewe ya kuwa Kristo alikufa kwa ajili ya damu zetu kama yanenavyo maandiko na ya kuwa alizikwa na ya kuwa alifufuka siku ya tatu kama yanenavyo maandiko na ya kuwa alimtokea kefa tena na wale tinasha baadaye aliwatokea ndugu zaidi ya tano pamoja katika hao wengi wanaishi hata sasa ila baadhi yao wamelala baadaye akamtokea Yakobo te, eh, Yakobo tena na mitume wote nao na, na mwisho wa watu wote alimtokea mimi kama kama ni mtu aliyezaliwa si kwa wakati wake this is a very good portion of scripture to show to those who are of other religions and who don't believe that Jesus is the son of God na hii hii ni kifungu cha maandiko kizuri sana cha kuweza kuwaonyesha wale watu wa dini zingine ambazo hawaamini ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ni mwana wa Mungu. It shows them some of the essentials of the Christian faith that Christ died for mankind's sin, he was buried and he rose and he's now in heaven. Kifungu cha maandiko kinaonyesha kwamba Yesu Kristo alizaliwa kama mwanadamu, akafa, akazikwa na ile siku ya tatu akafufuka. Now please turn with me to 1st Timothy chapter 2. I will read verse 5. Sasa funga pamoja na mimi Timotheo wa kwanza ile sura ya 5. This scripture and the next one are also good scriptures to share with those who are of a different religion so they can be convinced that Jesus Christ is the son of God. Na pia kifungu kingine cha maneno ninachokupa ni kifungu kizuri cha kuweza kuwasaidia wale watu wa dini zingine ambao hawajafikia mahali pa kufahamu kwamba Yesu Kristo ni mwana wa Mungu. Verse 5 of 1 Timothy chapter 2. Scripture reads for there is one God and one mediator between God and men the man Christ Jesus Timotheo wa kwanza 2 mstari wa 5 wa Biblia inasema kwa sababu Mungu ni mmoja na mpatanishi kati ya Mungu ni mwanadamu Samani tarudia kwa sababu Mungu ni mmoja na mpatanishi kati ya ya Mungu na wanadamu ni mmoja mwanadamu Yesu Kristo God's word is clear between the sinless god and sinful mankind all there is is jesus in the world mungu anaweka wazi mtu ambaye anaanza kumpatanisha mungu mtakatifu na watu wenye dhambi ni mwanadamu mmoja tu ambaye ni yesu kristo meaning jesus christ is the only bridge from sinful man to the sinless god without going through him one who stays separate from God and go to hell. Na hapa inaonyesha kwamba Yesu Kristo pekee ndio daraja la kumvusha mwenye dhambi kukumpeleka kwa Mungu mtakatifu. Akilikosa daraja hili basi huyo ni mtu wa jehanamu ya milele. Now let's go to step C in on the card. Na sasa tunataka ile kipengele C katika kadi zetu. Tuna tunaenda na kadi zetu ya pole kipengele C ile sehemu ya 4 sawa? Step 4, letter C says, you must leave all to come to Christ. Kile kipengele cha sasa kinasema ni lazima uwaache yote, uwaache yote na kuje kwa Yesu Kristo. Turn with me to Luke chapter 14, please. Hebu fungua pamoja na mhubiri Luka sura ya 14. Luke chapter 14 verse 